a reminder of right angle triangles. To be honest, it has absolutely nothing to do with what we're learning this year. But sometimes using these rules from right angle triangles can make a difference in what we learn in being able to do something quicker. So it's important that we actually do know our right angle triangle rules. So if we have a right angle triangle, what do we need to know? An angle and the length, we need to know where the right angle is, and we need to know which angle we're talking about. All right, those are the two important parts because that enables us to name the triangle with. Go, Captain. The hypotenuse, right? Right, adjacent next to the box is standing in the corner, and O is opposite the boxer. All right, so as long as we can label those three things, then we can get what are called our trig ratios. What's a ratio? One word for a ratio. A fraction. All right, that's why they're called trig ratios, because we write them as fractions. We know that from Sokotoa, we get sine of the angle, and we call it T, equals O over H. We know that cosine of the angle equals A over H. We know that tan of the angle equals O over A. With those three rules and some information, two pieces, we can find everything else on that triangle. We can find the two missing angles or we can find any missing sides. We just need two pieces of information. All right? So if we are finding a leg, then we know that what we do first of all is we label the triangle. So O and H, we don't label the side we've got anything on. So we know we have sine of 28 degrees equals P over 7. And then we put it into our calculator as P equals, so our working step should be P equals 7 times sine 28 degrees, making sure that our calculator is in degrees. And therefore, P equals, is it going to be bigger or smaller than 7? Why? Good. So, con easy check. Is that the hypotenuse is along the side? Option set up. Change to degrees. And we've got 7 times so 28 equals 3.29. So two decimal places, 3.29. All right. If we are finding a, an angle, what's the thing to do? Doesn't matter what the picture looks like ever, all right? It's the numbers that are on it that are important. So always looking for the right angle. Doesn't matter that the three looks like it's longer than the five. You do what you've been told is there, okay? Usually it has a disclaimer. This is not to scale or something like that. But you always just use whatever's there. You don't go, that can't be true because this is this and don't get knotted up and things like that. So again, labelling the sides, we've got 
Tom and A, so we've got tan, tan of T equals 5 over 3. So our working step T equals tan to the minus 1 of 5 over 3. We can put that all in our calculator in one go as long as we put the brackets in. We must put the brackets in otherwise. That will only inverse tan 7, I mean, sorry, 5. Fifty nine point zero three. Fifty nine point zero to one decimal. So normally we do angles to one decimal place, sides to two. All right. Unless it says otherwise in our assessment, that's what we do. So that's what we are going to practice today. Is just a reminder of that.